if anybody tells you that when you give and you can prosper and it's fraud that you are a 419 from a man of his caliber i am very surprised and ashamed very ashamed because this is a total blunder lie nobody on this earth can su survive and and, and 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 prosper in this world without giving to the society without giving to people without giving and listen to me he is teaching a certain kind of message that many of you don't follow and you don't know he is teaching a certain message okay or standing on the platform of some people mistakes and certain things that some pastors have been doing okay but you see that is not a total gospel when you check the gospel the gospel teaches us how to give and it teaches that when we give we receive blessings we receive the favor of god we sponsor the kingdom business the bless the things we give the monies we give do not just uh, uh, do the work of god but it goes to help the needy it goes to establish churches it goes to establish people in their life so therefore be given in the church should be reflection in the lives of the people so when we give we give to make the work of god progress and we give Give to also make the people of God progress. That is where I come in. We should be able to balance the gospel that the giving that we give in the church should be able to establish the people in the church. But you can't say that you don't give to prosper. That's a total lie. That you say to a man of God that uh, when you give, it's fraud and it is Yahoo Yahoo. No, sir. It is a total lie for you to say that a man of God preach people to give that he's a Yahoo Yahoo boy. Which Yahoo Yahoo? Do Yahoo Yahoo people give to the people they are Yahooing them? They don't give to they don't give to them. They are just destroying them and taking from them without giving anything to them. They don't give them. They are taught from them and use it unwisely. So when any man of God takes the monies of the people, he takes the offerings of the people and never account to the people and never account to the kingdom and never give it back to the kingdom. Then you can say that he's a Yahoo Yahoo. But don't generalize it that every man of God who asks you to give or is, is asking you to sow is a Yahoo Yahoo. No, it's a total Brantala. Then maybe he is the Yahoo Yahoo because the message he is preaching is that give without any expectation. Yes. When you give, don't expect any blessing. That is the teaching of the Dr. Abel Damina. That when you give, don't expect any blessing. That God does not bless according as you have given. What is a total lie? Luke chapter 6. Luke, yeah. In the book of Luke chapter 6, verse 30, 30, 30, 30, 38. 30, yeah. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye met with us, it shall be measured to you. You are reading this same scripture, and you are turning it around, and people are clapping for you. What kind of what kind of manipulation system is this? You are teaching people, you are teaching your members that they should give without expectation. They should give without knowing. But the Bible says when we give, we should express something. And you are speaking against the truth. So you and the person that is telling the Bible who is correct and who is right and who is wrong. Who is Yahweh? Yahu? You are telling people they shouldn't give tithe because we are not Jews. If we are not Jews, then why are you using Bible? Then why are you Christian? Why are you following Jesus? Is Jesus a Nigerian? Yeah. Is Jesus a Ghanaian? Yeah. Did he come for Ghanaian? No. Did he come to uh, uh, Nigeria people? Mm -hmm. Why are you using the Bible? Hmm. Amazing facts. This are demonstrative system that help the body of Christ. Sometimes I'm amazed because Dr. Abel Damina is one of the people that brought the prosperity gospel of extorting and collecting high kind of money in Nigeria. He taught some of us after teaching us. <laughs> after teaching us you got your auditorium you build the kingdom of god you got a tv station you got money you build houses you build an estate school your children in abroad now you are telling people that those people are yahoo yahoo boys okay no problem sir we are ready to change we are all ready to change we will not ask anybody to give again but first of all for you to tell us that we want to ask you have you returned back all the yahoo yahoo money that you collected 
serious. Because I expect them as a father, yeah. as a mentor. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to teach me that this is the truth, mm. you should show me with evidence by which you will go and give your house out, give your cars, yes, sir. return the certificates your children obtained from UK, mm. eh? yeah. give the church building everything the Akuya who money gave you, <laughs> return it back. Wow. Don't tell me you have changed after you have built an empire and destroy the coming generation. How do we spread the gospel? How do we preach on television? How do we share the gospel? By doing posters, writing books. If the church do not have that aspect of blessing, which God instituted in the church, when God created the church system, God created a place for the church that which even if the pastors are not working they will still be able to take care of themselves and their families and children to the extent that the Israelites were supposed to work physically and bring proceed of what they have worked to give to these pastors so that when they need the word from God they can go to them so that when they need counseling they can go to them when they need healing they can go to them when they need salvation and deliverance they can just come to them so he forbid the pastors not to do physical work but they should do his work but God properly planned a way of their help through the giving of the church to them and the poor, I believe that there are excesses, there are mistakes. Yeah, there are excesses, yeah. Yeah. And even one thing he added, said, there's nothing like prosperity message. That's what I'm saying. It's a total wrong. The whole gospel is a full of prosperity. The whole gospel, right from Genesis. Genesis chapter 12, verse 26. What did the Bible says? And the Lord blessed them. And the Lord said, be fruitful. What is the meaning of fruitfulness? What is the meaning of fruitfulness? Have dominion. Replenish. Increase. What is the meaning of increase? What is the meaning of fruitfulness? What is the meaning of dominion? I know he has his word. To come and change all those things that he, because we don't know English. The young men that are following this kind of teachings, all the message of Dr. Eber Daminas are wrong also. That's it. I'm very careful of this. It is what he has come out with. Some of the statements that have been made. Yeah. That when he says it and he brings crowd onto his followers, the world is waiting for this. He's dividing the body and destroying the body. Through these messages. I, the Bible taught us. My God, the yeah. Bible taught us how to work hard. Yeah, yeah. Hard working. In Genesis chapter, chapter 2, yeah. verse number 7. Yeah. When God created a man after he has blessed him, yeah. after he has spoken to him to be blessed and to be fruitful, yeah. God taught him how to work. To work. So that is also another platform. Okay. So giving is part, is part of, of the kingdom prosperity. Working is part of kingdom prosperity. If any man of God says that there are no giving strategies or teachings in the Bible, and if any pastor is teaching you prosperity from the Bible, he's fraud. Abba, what kind of insult is this? That is not totally true. The Bible is full of teaching of progressive. Progress life. I believe that it's full of teaching of hard work. Yeah. It's full of teachings yeah. it's full of, teaching of, of labor, everything of work, yeah. of principles. The principles of work, yeah. the principles of leadership, yeah. the principles of self control, the principles of, of, of entrepreneurship. We saw it in Abraham. Yeah. We saw it in Paul. We saw it in Priscilla and Aquila. Yeah. They were doing the work of God and still making tent. We saw it in the New Testament. Yeah. yeah. Papa, if you if you look some at were businessmen. Business yeah, exactly. Some were entrepreneurs. Yeah. In the Bible. Yeah. And they are they are for example unto us. Exactly. exactly. So sometimes I am such amazed about the way some of us that have the platform. Mm. It's platform the way we are destroying yeah. those who are coming. Yeah. Everything you sell, everything you preach yeah, with yeah. shout and yeah. power and authority, yeah. people will clap for you. Yeah. Okay? Either they understand or they don't they understand. understand. They will clap for you. Yeah. 
you and I can also say you don't need a correct message for people to clap for you. <laughs> <laughs> About that one, and you don't need the truth yes. for people to celebrate yeah, you yeah. and say yes, I'm standing with you. Yes. Even yeah. if I'm telling the lie, people will still clap for me. I will still have people that are interested of lies. That's the world. The world, whatever you sell, people buy. It doesn't matter what you say. All you have to do is just pack it well. Put light on it. Blend it and give it out to people. But the truth of the matter is, scriptures cannot be broken. I believe he has a message. I believe he represents something in the body of Christ. I believe in his ministry. And I know God has called him. But certain statement that he make in such manner is destroying the upcoming generation. And we pray that God will help him. The Holy Spirit will speak to him as he grows in this new office. And sometimes that's what happens. Sometimes when you come into that a, a certain new office that which God has granted you access, you make a lot of mistakes. The same way prosperity preachers make a lot of mistakes. Sometimes we think that, like you said, many of us, I, I remember those days when I was not grown up and I was preaching. I only believed that when you give, God was going to bless you totally. You don't need to work. But as I grew up in the things of God, I began to understand that it's an expansion of the kingdom. And there are a lot of revelations being given to me now in this office where I operate. We, don't, we are not supposed to be preaching money. There's a difference between money and prosperity. Prosperity is increase. Prosperity is good health. Prosperity is contribution. Prosperity is empowerment. Prosperity is a platform to fulfillment of vision, dreams, ideas. Are you hearing me? So you can't say that the gospel does not talk about prosperity. You can't say that Jesus didn't preach about prosperity. But we saw Jesus teaching management. Jesus teaching management. Jesus teaching accountancy. Jesus was teaching about science. He was teaching about agriculture. He was teaching about how somebody, a, a businessman, went into business and then he had a harvest. All those teachings, you are calling them, they are not in the gospel. Papa, they are examples of our life. Papa, it's, it seems um, when from your submission, and for me, what I am understanding now, it's like even the gospel, everything about the gospel is prosperity. Because if you have to teach somebody to come out from the devil, the camp of the devil, to be free, that one, and alone, is even prosperity. Deliverance, Deliverance to be free, is, to, is be safe, to, to be safe, to be safe. safe. Yes, increase That's what, to have from the done. dungeons of death exactly. and that has is, come into the knowledge of Christ. So it's, a, it's like we have misinterpreted prosperity exactly. to be financial intelligence or money. Prosperity is more than money. Exactly. 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 Prosperity exactly. is more than money. You can be prospered and you don't have money. Exactly. 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 There are rich men, they are prospered men mm. that walks around with that castle in their pocket. Yeah. Their company is giving so much to the world that they don't need to give money physically. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? So you can't speak against prosperity. Prosperity is a kingdom that which we belong. He called us alone. Isaiah 54. He said, look unto your father Abraham. I call him alone and your mother Sarah. I call him alone and I bless him and I increase him. What is that one? Are we not the sons of Abraham? It is. We have to Christ. Yeah, to that. So if your father, God increase him and God says, look unto him. The same way I made him, I'm going to make you. And then you are telling me we should not. I, all I'm saying is that you need God to prosper. You need God to live right. You need God to be disciplined. You need God to make impact. And I want to make it emphatically also that everybody that has made it in any field of life reverence a place of God in their life. You might have not seen it. Exactly. That's not mean that doesn't exist. And I think Papa in my submission, if I have offended you, if I've insulted you, forgive me, sir. 
I am not in this message attacking the person of Dr. Abel Damina. I am just speaking in corresponding to certain statement that I think is not also correct. Thank you.